What is going on, you guys? Demarc Ducky here. Welcome back to another NHL 16 GM Mode Panthers edition. Anyways, guys, right out the gate in the last episode, we have had a really good open in 14, 8, and 2 is our current record. We did win out quite a few big games last season, including a win over, well, two wins over our our actual in-state rival, Tampa Bay, who is also doing really well this season, so... I believe this guy, this season, guys, will be the season we edge for a playoff position. Anyways, we do have a player meeting, where I'll get to right now. As we talk about trading situation, right now I don't feel like traded trading. Yeah, trading is a good idea for our situation we are in right now because we have a good team built. All right, you know I really have to admit I'm thrilled with my playing time recently. Uh, do, do, do. Don't think you can let your level. Great, we found a good balance. Seems to work. Working hard to get some of your ice time. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Keep up the, keep up the hard work. I say that. That should be fine. Negative effect. I don't know how that's a negative effect, but that's fine. Probably because of it, I said it sarcastically or something like that. Either way, it's okay. But guys, our captains, I'm considering changing. I want to spread out the... Assistant captain tree more. Maybe give it to another D man. Because Nick Buke said it's having a decent season. It's just not what we expect of him. Then again, he is on the second line now. I'm going to let it slide for now. Anyways, let's hop straight into some games. We're number one in our division. We're like number six in the NHL. So let's hop straight into that. Again, we slow sim Tampa Bay games. I know some of you guys hate slow simming, but it just has to be done for rivalry games, guys. I can't cut it out completely. We need 4 0 over Minnesota. Very good. 5-2 to the Flyers, not good. Ooh, 5-1 to Columbus. Let's not lose some games here, guys. Let's keep the winning streak going. one nothing lost to Buffalo. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Boston. We beat uh, uh, the Canadians in overtime. I just cannot talk today. We beat Boston 3-1. New Jersey Devils 4-2. Let's get a win over the Rangers. We do 4-3. We lose in a shootout. We got a point. It's not bad. As long as we're getting points, it's okay. 19-11-3, our current record. All right, so far... Uh, the second week for us was kind of horrible in this month. Let's hope that doesn't come again. Let's just keep this rolling. Let's go Let's go to Tampa Bay and slow sim that game. It's at Tampa Bay this time. Let's see if we can go up 3-0 on them and show them that we are the better team because we are. So let's do this, guys. Let's get this game rolling in the first period. Steven Stamkos, the Stammer scores on Luongo, 1-0. Let's hope that doesn't get to us. Come on. And the second period, Yamir Yager on Ben Bishop. But Volteri Flippula, the Flipper, <laughs> tie, well, doesn't tie the game. It ties the period in scoring, so it gets Tampa Bay the lead on us. Let's hope we can come back in the third. All we need is one. One more goal, guys. One more goal. They're, they're just destroying us for shots. We have to get more rubber to the net. Hopefully our defense locks it down and we can get one more to at least force an OT. Come on, boys. You can do it. Come on. Nothing. 2-1. Tampa Bay will take home that one. It was a good night for the, goal, the attendees, I believe. Oh, yeah, Luongo, 33 saves. Not bad right there. Bishop had quite a few saves as well. Let's continue. That's okay. We'll let them win one. We'll win the next one though. Let's get this. Let's get December out of the way. It's just a bad month for us right now. We're struggling in December. Let's. Hopefully, we're not struggling coming up towards later on in the season. All right. We're gonna. We're still gonna scout some goaltenders. Let's scout goalies in the rest of the world for. Uh, let's do another month. We need to find a young goalie to come up and take the ropes here. In case Roberto Rolongo decides to call it quits. There are still some players I want to meet with you. Let's see what they want. Uh, Kevin Hayes, he does not look happy. My performance has been bad lately, but I'm confident I'll break out soon. Hopefully he does. He was a pretty good player for us last season. We want to... We're telling the roughy patches saying that seems to work just fine. No effect. Hopefully he gets better. He wasn't bad for us last season at all. He actually had a pretty good season. Almost a record high season for him. 4-2 win over the Islanders. But 4-0 loss to Anaheim. That one's going to sting. 
that one just stinks. How's Anaheim doing this season? If I can find out where my cruiser is. Oh, right there. Anaheim's 22-13 and 1. Almost the same as us, but we played two more games on them. So we're going to sim down to the All-Star game here. This episode's probably going to go to the trade deadline, guys. We want to get this season out of the way, get it done. Three losses in a row. We only took up one point in that week. This is not a good month of December. We do beat Carolina in the shootout round. Oh, I'm fine. We don't really, we're not really worried about trades right now. We lose in the shootout round to Detroit. We beat Winnipeg. We're struggling here, guys. We had to keep it together here. We got the Blues. Beat the Blues 2-1. We lose it 7-1. What? 7-1. That's horrible. No goaltending in that game at all. I'm guessing both goalies were in net for that game. One of them was swapped out. That was horrible. 7-1 and then a 5-3. We're falling apart. We, we got to keep this together, guys. We need, I might have to check out the lines here. We're just falling apart. I don't know what's going on. Aaron Eckbot again. What does he have to say? I'm really proud of how the team been forming. Performing as of, as of late. Apparently he hasn't seen that 7-1 loss. To my expectations lately. Not sure about you. Aaron Eckbot is performing really well. He's got to be one of the best people on the team right now. I agree things will be going very nice for us. We could always do better. I'm expecting more from you. You've been doing well lately, no doubt, but I know you still have more to give. Let's say that. That's probably a negative effect. Yeah. We're, we don't want to make Eggblad mad. Not at all. Is he in a, contract, a contract year? That's what I was thinking of last episode. Yes, he is in a contract year, so we want to keep him happy so he'll resign with us. He's, got, he's about to get paid coming up soon. 5-2 loss to Montreal. That's not good at all. Come on, we have to... Okay. Toronto, we beat them 4-3. We beat the Rangers 8-5. That was a high-scoring game. All right, let's scout. Mm, we have not scouted the OHL yet for attendees. Let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully, there's a good goalie we can pick up late. Because I'm not... If we don't make the playoffs, I probably will trade for a high-round pick. If we do, I'm not going to... 5-1 win over Dallas. Our offense is showing up to the games as well as our defense. As I said, we're simming to the trade deadline. So we should go all the way up to the trade deadline now. No stopping sim. Let's keep this going. Let's get this rolling. 2-1 win over Calgary. Whoa. That's a huge trade. Alexander Steen for Lawson Krause and Clappertron. Whoa. Whoa, how's Alexander Sting, Steel of the Sting been doing? Ouch, 9 goals, 27 assists. He's not having a very good season at all. He's 32 years old. He's at his max potential at 88 overall. Lawson, Lawson Krause, supposed to be our future, 19 years of age, has high potential, 76 overall. I do not want to get rid of him, but that's going to benefit us in the long run. But if we do make that playoff push, Alexander Steen would help us get it done. Clappertron doesn't really have much potential. Oh, he does now. Bottom six high. When we drafted him, he didn't really have that much. He could be eh, maybe a third line D-man in the future. If Oh, my bad. I'm thinking of... My head is just not together today at all for just GM mode. He's a left wing playmaker. Um, so yeah, I, I meant to say he could be on the fourth line, left wing. I don't know why I said D-man. But that's taking in some cap. And I already know that's going to bring us that much closer to the cap space. Salary cap. He's out, he's in a contract year as well. So he's going to want some pretty decent money. But we're going to have to pay Aaron Ekblad at the end of the season. And quite a few other players. I really want to keep Lawson Krause. We have not signed Clappertron yet. Clapperton yet. Um, I just can't find it in me to make this trade because if we do sign Steen, we have to draft another young rookie to take Cross Cross's place in our future. I'm gonna reject this. 
gonna have to reject that trade. Call me crazy, but hopefully it doesn't come back to haunt us. But I do believe Lawson could be our future when it comes to offense. Aaron Eckblad has another thing to say. I'm thrilled with my playing time lately. As he should be 95 overall. Look at A, nothing's happening. There we go. It's just being slow today. You know, I really have to admit, I'm thrilled with my playing time lately. Great, we found a great balance that seems to work. So we'll go with that. No effect. How's his season been? 32 helpers and 7 goals. That is an amazing season. For someone as young as he is. He should be a 96 before the end of the season, I predict. I, If I'm correct, he should be a 96. No doubt about it. Let's keep this simming going. Hopefully... I really don't want to sign anybody else like they, how they wanted to give us Alexander Steen because we have to pick up a goalie if Longo calls it quits in the free agency, not to mention in a giant contract we're going to have to give Aaron Eckblad. So we're winning games and we're losing games here, guys. Ah, come on, we have to hold this together. 33, 20, and 5. I want to break 35 wins before the end of this month. Ah, oh, come on. They sent it to me again, but they added picks. Um. If they retain some cap, maybe. But right now, I'm going to decline it. I know I should take Cross off the trading block, but I just am not tempted to do so. Maybe if someone offers us that giant trade. And we'll take it. Let's scout the, the QM for and goalies for a month. Let's do that. Get that out of the way. And then we got the Flyers. Let's go 36 wins against the Flyers. Waiver claim. Uh, how old is he? Yeah, no, we're pass on him. Decline. Oh, come on. <laughs> Another player I would love to have to the team. Why? TJ Oshie. Four cross. Ah. That's another good trade. That's another good trade. Apparently, he's not doing that well in Washington. If they're 17 goals, 23 assists, but he's a minus two. So he's not doing that bad, but he's. 30 years old. He's in a contract year. Again, another one in a contract year. I do not want to take a player in that's on a contract year. Opposed to someone who we just signed. Is 19 years old. Has high potential to be someone at least 85 overall. He's listed as a fourth liner, so we're not giving him what he wants. I think he's in the minors right now. We're going to use him next season. I know that for sure. We're using Lawson next season. But again, TJ Oshie could help us in the playoffs. I'm going to say no. That's the last good trade we're probably going to get because it is the trade deadline right now. Let's check out how our team has been doing. You know what? I'm not going to worry about making trades. So we're just going to keep going. We're not going to make any trades in the trade deadline. Guys, I know I said I was going to stop a trade deadline. I'm going to keep it going. Let me see the stats. Tampa Bay is past this. Yamir Yager leading the team with 48 points. Really? Is he really? That's crazy if he is. Because I was hoping. I have a feeling he's going to retire. Yeah, 48 points. Taylor Hall, 47. Eggblad, 46. Kessler. That whole first line is actually up there. 23 goals, 19 goals, 16 goals. It's crazy. It's just. Good. Who's leading the team in goals? Yager, really? Wow. Bukestad only getting 28 points, but I mean, he's on the second line now. He's just not having as good of a season as he was last year, being on the first line. No one's a point for game player. Who leads the NHL for points and goals so far this season? It seems like it's harder to get a point for game player on this now. It just, it's more realistic I guess you could say Patrick Kane wow 64 games played 63 points 
Is there a six? Oh, Claude, you're 62 games played, 66 points. He broke the game. <laughs> Vladimir Tarasenko, 64 and 64. Wow. That's crazy. Stammers up there. Sagan, Thornton. Really, Joe Thornton. He's on the Calgary. Wow. Jakob Vorchek. Yuri Hoodler on the Coyotes. Johnny Gattrall. Kyle Pozo on the Hurricanes. Wow. Just some of those trades or pickups and on their over the offseason they're making sure are shaking the league up. Patrick came with 37 goals. I don't see Crosby up here. I don't see there's Ovi. 30 goals. I'm not seeing any of the giant guns up here though, like Crosby and Where's Crosby at? Is Crosby having a he must be having a horrible season. There he is. 21 Oh, 55 points in 62 games. He's not doing bad. He's just not the best this season. All right, well, let's see where we stand in the NHL. We need to. We do play Tampa Bay two more times, I believe. We normally play them five times a season. I think we play them two more times. Let's win one more so we get the time breaker on them over the entire our entire conference. We're number five in the NHL right now at 75 points. Tampa Bay at 80. They don't have a game on us, so. And we don't have a game on them. It's our losses that are getting us. That Just that month we had in December is haunting us right now. It's horrible. Arizona, number, wow. 85, 39, 19, and 7. The Arizona Coyotes. How about that? I would have never put the Coyotes up there. Look at Buffalo. They're up there, too. And this is before the Jack Eagle update. I started this GM mode, so that's crazy. We're just going to keep rolling on here, guys. I'm probably going to try to finish the season out in this episode. I know I said I was going to stop for the trade deadline, but there's really no reason for us to make trades here. We have a huge game coming up against Tampa Bay. I want to get that out, out the way. I want to get this season out the way. I want to see if we make playoffs. 6-1 win over Edmonton. 4-1. Oh, 2-4-1 losses. Come on, we can't do that. New Jersey, 4-2 win. Come on, we have to keep the games together. 5-2 loss. 2 no, oh, Come on, we have to keep these games together, guys. We have to get winning games. 2-1. 2 nothing. Come on, we have to beat Winnipeg. 4-2. Calgary is next. We have to beat... Come on, we got to keep winning these games. We hit 40 wins. We're going to play our morale. They want to meet with me. Kevin Hayes is disgruntled. What? Ah, that's not good at all. He's stirred up the locker room. To be honest, I really think this team needs to shake up. The locker room is not in good shape. It's because of Kevin Hayes. Uh, I hear a lot of feedback. Contemplating some changes. Let's say that. Because I have noticed Kevin Hayes. I need to be out on the ice more. I can't help the team when I'm not getting minutes. Let's check this out. Look, you have to prove to me that you deserve more. I'm going to say that. But negative effect. He. Kevin Hayes might have to go. He's bringing the locker room down. Is he the only person like that, too? He is. There's some of them that are like, eh, okay, we're we're happy. It's working. We're getting out on the ice. We wish we could have more. But it's... They they can deal with it. They're happy, but they're not excited about it. He's just... He's not happy at all. He's disgruntled. He's just not there. It's just, he has no positive high locker room chemistry with anybody. His best locker room chemistry is Grimalde. So, and he does not get along with Yager. Yager. He might have to go. Alright, Calgary, 3-1 win. Vancouver, overtime win. Come on, we have to get the points together. Shootout loss, we got the point. We have to keep these wins together. We have to win this game coming up against Tampa Bay. Let's scout, let's scout the SHL for some attendees. You know what? I think we scout enough tennies. Let's scout forwards for one month in the SHL. We have to keep these wins together. 5-2 win in the Rangers. And here we go. Perhaps one of the biggest games of the season. Can we take the tiebreaker on Tampa Bay? Alright, here we go. And the first period. Nothing. This is going to be a heart-wrenching game for both teams here. And the second period. Jonathan Drew in. Come on, we have to win this game. We're going to we're gonna slow sim the rest of it. Come on. We have to take this game, guys. 
Without a doubt, we have to. Five on four, come on, score off the power play. Steven Stamkos, come on. Well, guys, it's not looking good. Let's try to end the game here. Three nothing, Stamkos gets an empty letter. And it's going to come down to the last game. It's 2-2. Two -two. They've taken home two, we've taken home two. One more game, that game's going to be huge for us. We got Buffalo coming up next. Let's destroy Buffalo here. Buffalo's having a great season as well. We beat them 3-2. Oh, we don't play the Lightning anymore. Okay. That's fine. Did we clinch our playoff spot yet? That's what I want to know. We have not. This is going to be a scary season. We're going to have to win most of these games. We're pretty much in. If we stay, if we sit where we are now the rest of the season, we're in. Regardless. Yeah, we're we're just on the outside. We're in the playoffs. If we win one more game, I believe we're in the playoffs. Finally, let's get to the playoffs. Xiaomi Yager, sixty points, leading the team. Amazing. Let's get into these playoffs. All right, we got Nashville. Win and we lose. That little loss has got to hurt us in the long run. Let's keep going, though. Got to play morale. Our play morale is really getting to us now. This, yeah, yeah. Kevin Hayes is gonna have to go. He's not playing well. Sometimes I wonder why you and the rest of the management make such bad decisions. Yeah, you're gonna go in off season. Your job is to focus on playing. Your talk has had a negative effect. Yeah, he's gonna have to go. I might have to sit him out because he's gonna hurt us in the playoffs. He's not doing nothing. At all. What's his stats look like? 12 goals, 16 assists, but... but 23, yeah. He might get sat out if he doesn't perform well. See, there's people who are neutral, like Vince Trocek, and David Jones, and Gambarde. But... it's They're fine with it. They're like, okay, we're on a good team. We're winning games, that's fine. Speaking of winning games, we lost to... We lost a valuable game to Columbus. We need to make sure we win this game here. 6-4 win. I think we got this, guys. We're in the playoffs. That's good. So we got two more games. Let's go out into the playoffs on a winning note. We got the Columbus Blue Jackets. 5-3 win. And Buffalo Sabres. 4-1 loss. Not good at all. Let's see who we play into the playoffs. We play Ottawa. Hmm. Let's see who made the playoffs. Well, a lot of people made the playoffs in our little mini division down there. Oh, we're like, oh, stats, central. <laughs> I got confused. There's Taylor Hall, 71 points leading the team. Before we check who's in the playoffs, let's check our team. Nick Bukestad hit it in 44 points. That's fine. Taylor Hall, 71 points. John Mayer, 35 goals. Still scoring the goals. 35 and 35. Didn't he do that last year, too? It wasn't that high, but he went, like, even. Wow, he doesn't get along with a lot of the locker room. But it doesn't seem to affect the way he plays at all. I don't think he has that much time left on our team, anyways. I think he's going to retire soon. Ryan Kessler making an impact his first season as our number one center. 61 points. That is amazing. 39 assists. 22 goals. Aaron Ekblad right there behind him. 56 points as a D-man. His third year in the league. John the Huberdale hitting 48 points. I'm surprised it overall hasn't went up yet. It's just a matter of time. Riley Smith's probably went up by one. Nick Buke said 87. They've had good seasons. Brandon Perry. 34 points. I think that's the best season he had since last year. Let's see who's going to take home the trophies this year all right entire league let's see who's taking home Ooh, vladimir tarasenko 85 points what a player and he still has high potential that's crazy let's see who scored the most goals in the league vladimir tarasenko then patrick kane then alexander ovechkin wow vladimir tarasenko this season most assist Oliver Ekman, really? 53, good. 
God, that's a lot of assist. Jakob Voracek, Kopi, Stepan, Hoodler, Gautreau, Thames, Downey, Sagan, Johnson, Turris, and Sidney Crosby. 98 overall. 77 points and you're 98 overall? That's not good. That's not good at all. Who do we have in the playoffs, guys? Let's check. I know we have Ottawa, but let's see who's in the playoffs. Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. That's going to be a dirty game. Carolina and Buffalo. That's going to be pretty good. Of course, of course, us and Ottawa. Tampa Bay and Montreal. Ooh, we could get Tampa Bay in the semifinals, guys. We could actually get our rival in the semifinals. That would be huge. Then on the Western Conference side, which isn't really going to matter to us until we actually make the Stanley Cup Final. Hopefully we can do it this season. Arizona and San Jose, LA and Calgary, Nashville and Edmonton, Minnesota and Winnipeg. Wow. Let's see who won the President's Trophy, guys. Who took home the President's Trophy? Hopefully it wasn't Tampa Bay. It was Tampa Bay, and then Nashville was right behind them. So, we we're going against, we could possibly go against the President's Trophy winners in the playoffs. That's going to hurt quite a bit. Let's hope, let's hope uh, the Canadians eliminate them. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video here because it went a lot longer than I thought. Hope you guys enjoyed. Press that like button if you did. Any ideas for the way I should switch the lines around or if I should reassign uh, captains or anything, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, until then, I'll see you guys in the playoffs.